Hey guys, what's up? Um, excuse the messy hair, but I just got out of the shower, literally. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about a story. I don't know how accurate this is, but I read on a bunch of sites that Superstars has been cancelled by WGN. Now, for those of you who may or may not follow me on Twitter, um, I do a, like a live thought kind of thing through Twitter of Superstars every week. So, if WGN did cancel Superstars, I can't do that anymore, <laughs> so I'll probably use TNA since it's on the same day, but just at a later time. I don't want to, but I probably will. Um, anyway, I'm kind of intrigued in a way because to me it doesn't make sense in that they had a show that at first was supposed to highlight just the big names, you know, like Rey Mysterio, Kane, The Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, John Cena, but yet when the show started tanking ratings wise, they decided to use guys who are just the, the low card guys who barely have time on Raw or SmackDown or at the time ECW. Now, that's all fine and dandy. You know, do what you want. I mean, sure, show, whatevs. But what I don't understand is why. Because to me, WWE is such a huge juggernaut, you're going to need a secondary show if you want these guys to wrestle, or else you might as well come free. And that will probably cost you some money, too, believe it or not. So, why are you going to do that? Well, I mean, that's WGN. They were the ones who decided to pull the plug. But. WWE needs to find a way to have these guys wrestle, or else they're just sitting on the bench collecting a paycheck, and that's not what they want. So, I mean, Vince is smart, he obviously is, I mean, he created WrestleMania, um, he, he's done a lot of angles, some questionable, but some very good angles, so, I think all in all, it's nothing that they're really too worried about from one certain standpoint, mainly because... They're going to get through it. I mean, they had heat and, full, and velocity for a few years. Mainly velocity for a few, but they had heat from like 99 to like 06, 07 or something. And they kind of used ECW as that show where it had lower card guys. I mean, at times they had like mid card guys winning the ECW title, which is awesome in my opinion because you're putting them over and that's really helping them. But now they don't really have that, if this is true. I'm. This isn't 100% confirmed, although I'm sure it probably will be sometime soon today. Um, by the way, happy late St. Patrick's Day. Hope everyone had a good one. But, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of shocked about this, but, I mean, I don't know exactly what WWE plans to do. So, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll find out. But I think, in the meantime, they're going to use NXT in a way because that's still a web show that WWE has. I don't know how NXT is doing on WWE.com. I mean, it could be amazing. Maybe it's not. Who knows? Truthfully, I couldn't really tell you that. I think that NXT, though, only has, like, one real good season left. And that's this whole redemption thing where they're bringing back former NXT season members, and they have one last shot to win a uh, contract. A contract, I should say. But, um, I don't know. Oh, I, I just, I don't know how they're gonna really, I guess, promote in some ways uh, some of the talent. I mean, you have, like I said, you do have NXT. But at the same time, you're only gonna have so many guys, and the, half the time they're not even gonna be wrestling. They're gonna be on TV, sure. And not even TV, just on the internet. But, I mean, th there's a lot that, can, that needs to be done in terms of thinking about it. I mean, you need some kind of show for these guys to wrestle on or else they're not going to get any exposure. You mean to tell me Tyler Rex is going to be a huge name? No. The thing is, after WrestleMania, as everyone knows, they always do what is called spring cleaning and that they clean a lot of the roster out every single year. So, with that being said, I think guys like Tyler Rex, guys like Primo, uh, I think they'll keep Zack Ryder. Guys like... Uh, to an extent, Chris Masters, the Usos are definitely gone. A lot of these Superstars guys, they're gone. Kurt Hawkins, he could stay. I I don't know how much they'd really be willing to do with him, but that's something that's 
you know, that they really have to work on, I think. I don't, he's not going to be a world champion anytime soon, let's put it like that. I think that if they play the cards right, guys like Kurt Hawkins, Zack Ryder, um, Chris Masters, I think those three guys right there, they can have title matches, not like WWE World Heavy when I'm talking like United States and Intercontinental. I mean, obviously Santino and Kozlov, they'll, they'll do just fine. Daniel Bryan's been wrestling sometimes on Superstars, but he's going to be fine. I mean, chances are he's going to have a match with Sheamus at WrestleMania for the United States title, so I I'm looking forward to that match, to be honest, because you have a brute strength, powerful guy like Sheamus and a technical, savvy, high flyer in Daniel Bryan, so it's a clash of two worlds, but that's for my WrestleMania prediction video, which I'm really looking forward to. I love WrestleMania time, but um, anyway, it's there's just a lot of questions and not enough answers, but I mean the thing is, like I said, this all isn't a hundred percent confirmed. It probably will be within the next twenty four hours, I'm sure. But so far I think it's kinda like, eh, eh you know, I, I don't think WWE is in any hurry to find another show. But I think at the same time they have to, to figure something out. And that these guys are all going to be sitting on your bench until you fire them. So it's like, what's the point? Either fire them right now, or come up with another show. I think more sense for me, even though it might cost some money, like I said, I kind of do think it would make more sense to fire them, as opposed to, you know, finding a network and going through the hassle of, you know, this and that in terms of, arenas or, you know, theme song and licensing issues and things like that. So, I think all in all, it WWE needs a show like that, but like I said, they're just not in any hurry. So, I mean, it sucks for me personally, because I actually love Superstars. It, I think it was a great, uh, just a great show in general. I mean, and the funny thing was, last night though, I didn't even do one, uh, play-by-play -play on my Twitter account, because... I, th I was like, yeah, it's St. Paddy's Day, it's Cleveland, Ohio, the weather's pretty good for the most part, so why not go out and enjoy the day, and the one time I do that, chances are they might cut Superstar X. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I know I keep saying this, but it's not 100% confirmed, and if it is, this is my little take on it, view it as that, and I think that once... WWE decides what they're going to do, then I think that it will make a lot of sense. I mean, that sounds weird to say, but I think that once WWE decides to... just decides, like, a next move, whether if it's, like, an online version of Superstars or if it's, like, an actual network thing, I don't know. Although, on a forum, someone did mention, well, why not just, you know, keep Superstars on a webisode until the WWE launches their cable network, which makes sense, but at the same time, that's a long time to wait, and WWE's not going to want to do that, That they're going to be waiting forever, because chances are a WWE cable network station won't happen until like 2012, because there's so much that has to be put into that, so could it happen? Yeah, but it's a long shot, and I hope that that happens though, just so Superstar still revived, and that if that doesn't happen, find another network or cancel it, fire them. But like I said, WWE is real smart. They're going to find something to do. And I think that it should be a webisode until they decide for sure to pull the plug if another network doesn't want to pick them up. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.